Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borek, and this is going to be a preview on our Lehigh Valley Phantoms against the 25, 14, 5, and 2 Springfield Thunderbirds. Our Phantoms are 17, 18, 6, and 3 after dropping a very tough shootout loss to the Utica Comets yesterday, where Hayden Hodgson was able to have the clutch game tying goal <clears throat> late in the game. Well, actually, not really late in the game, but 6 23 into the third, but in the third period. And then Charlie Gerard scored the goal early on the nice play, breaking out and scoring through the five hole as the defender was draped on his back a little bit. Nice score there. Alexander Holtz had the beautiful breakaway that seemed to bang up Felix Sandstrom, so hopefully he's okay going forward. Kirill Ustamenko did step in. Usti and played a very good game yesterday. As I did a quick little recap for you on yesterday's game, and then Nolan Foot, of course, scored the other goal in regulation. And then the shootout, we all know, if you've watch my channel, what I feel about shootouts, you fight so hard to, to to tie it and then play another overtime, you fight so hard to keep it tied, and then it's just a breakaway competition, that's more what should be used in the skills competition, used in a penalty shot setting, in my opinion, and used in all-star festivities, not necessarily within the game, but that's my own opinion, uh, but let's get on to this game against the Springfield Thunderbirds, which is today at three, um, the Phantoms in their head-to-head, -head, uh, they've lost one game in regulation, and one game in overtime against the Thunderbirds at 0-1-1-0 record, and then the 2-0 record, of course, goes to the Springfield Thunderbirds, um, and then they have 180, 148 goals for against 144 goals against, well, the goals against is actually four more to the Thunderbirds, but they also have a significantly more goals scored at 148 to the Phantoms, 121. The Thunderbirds are a team that like taking penalties, though. They're over 581 penalty minutes, where Lehigh's at 471. So if the Phantoms are able to, with 6-2-1-1, one, one, according to 3-6-5 in the last 10-5, to 4-0-1 oh, by the Phantoms, if the Phantoms are able to take advantage of the power play in this game via how many penalty minutes the Thunderbirds take, it seems like that would be the best route into being able to win this game. If they... Or faltering and not having the best special teams play, not on penalty kill, that actually has impressed me and been better of late, but on the on the power play side, then that's going to be a struggle bunny and that's going to be an issue for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms because Springfield, the one thing they will do, albeit being one of the best team in the league at 25-14, 5-2, is take some penalties and take some penalties that could put you back in the game at time where not all teams have taken advantage of that, other teams have. If Lehigh's a team that's able to take advantage of that today, then I think they will have a good chance to come out against another good team, play a really good game, at least get that one point like they did against Utica. If not, come out with the two points, hopefully, in overtime and not get into a damn shootout again. But <clears throat> I hope everybody enjoyed this little preview. When it comes to Springfield, I will throw, I forgot to put in um, the guys that are the players you should really look out for. Obviously. Uh, when he's down there, there's the Browns of the world, there's Joshua, there's Kim, uh, Lafreniere, uh, Laferriere, uh, Luque, um, a Alexandrov, Anas, Bidden. So th there's a bunch of people there you got to look out for uh, when it comes to them. Santini's always been a good veteran defenseman. Torpchenko um, is, is a very solid forward. Nathan Walker's great. So in terms of the AHL level and a very solid uh, depth guy when he goes up to the NHL level, we see this year with the St. Louis Blues. So this team's deep. This team's riddled in depth. Um, they have Wesley uh, then at defense as well. They got Pekka, who's been around the block. So Stevens, who's a very good, solid uh, fill-in player when needed and has played over 20 games. So th again, depth for the Springfield Thunderbird. But our Lehigh Valley Phantoms added Adam Johnson. They brought back Maxime Shusko, came back down from the Philadelphia Flyers. Connor Bunneman's back. And, of course, we have Tanner Lezinski came back, who played a great game in his first game yesterday, generating a, quite a few solid chances. So that's very good to see. Guys are coming back at the right time. So, yes, the Springfield's really in depth, but the Phantoms are starting to have more depth. Now it's just praying and hoping that Felix Sandstrom, his leg bugaboo, is not a big thing or whatever it did end up being after it looked like he could have got banged up from that Alexander Holtz beautiful breakaway goal. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a preview to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms versus the Springfield Thunderbirds after we gave a short recap to yesterday's game against the Utica Commons. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.